The Duchess of Sussex spoke of enjoying the pressures of being a working mother as she met a dozen inspiring female entrepreneurs at an event in Cape Town today. Meghan said she found juggling being a royal and looking after baby Archie a lot but added it's all so exciting. The former actress met several women who have set up their own businesses in industries such as technology, conservation and fashion and praised them for empowering the next generation of creative minds. Speaking to mother of two Lara Rosemarin, CEO of Cape Innovation and Technology, Megan said, It must be a lot to juggle. We're only five months in right now. Being a working mom and traveling as well with a baby, my goodness it's a lot, but it's all so exciting. There are days when it's a lot to juggle but then you meet someone and you have an impact on them and you say aha, and it's so rewarding. Megan then went to the city's Mothers to Mothers organization, which trains and employs women with HIV. She took along some of Archie's baby clothes, including a onesie saying the future and his Invictus baby grow which he no longer fits, alongside donations from her friends with children. For the solo events, Megan had changed into a chic black Everlane jumpsuit, teamed with statement Gaspesia gold earrings, and black Manolo Blahnik pumps. The 38-year-old wore the same 100-pound jumpsuit while working behind the scenes on the September issue of British Vogue in July. After meeting Meghan, Lara Rosemarin said, I think the Duchess really understood two pressures on working women which was so appreciated. She is a working mother herself and mixing that in with all the traveling and projects she has, it's inspiring for other women and young people to see that she is making such a success out of her life and helping others with her charitably endeavors. The Duchess said she found the concept of a company called Relate, founded by Lauren Gills fascinating. The non-profit NGO which employs women from disadvantaged backgrounds across South Africa to make bracelets for good causes was inspired by the Lance Armstrong Cancer Awareness Armband and how it connected people both to a cause and each other. Mrs. Gills said, We started off with an idea and from that initial crowdfunding we have now raised pound 3.5 million from the sale of 3.5 million bracelets that we put back into communities empowering women from disadvantaged communities. The work they do is reflected right back into their own community and that really is the difference to helping alleviate their struggles. Megan said, I find that so fascinating, it's such an interesting concept. By empowering these women from those backgrounds they are changing the focus of their communities and empowering the next generation. The ladies who launch event as the Woodstock Exchange, a technology hub at the Tech Hub, focused on highlighting the skills and mentorship of the female entrepreneurs changing the landscape of employment in South Africa. The program brings together a cross-section of female entrepreneurs investors and corporate decision makers, to help startups tap into a network of successful female entrepreneurs and successful role model women to help their businesses flourish. She had promised to bring gifts, and the Duchess of Sussex did not disappoint on her next visit to a charity supporting mothers with HIV. Meghan brought a large black hole doll full of baby clothing outgrown by her son Archie and the children of friends, to hand over to clients of mothers to mothers in Cape Town her second solo engagement and third of the day. They included two tiny white vests, one from Marisair bearing the words the future and another with the Invictus Games logo. Here's a few little things that I thought would be helpful, she said, holding them up one by one. The future. And he's outgrown his Invictus one, she laughed. After accepting a gift of a framed photograph of women helped by the organization, she told her hosts, I just thought that, in the spirit of community, what's so nice is to be able to share some of the things that we have at home as well. And so we can obviously make sure everything you need is provided for you. But we've brought some of the things that my friends and I used for our kids and Archie, that don't fit anymore. Gesturing to the bag, she added, there's all sorts of things there. It's so important to be able to share with other families. You're all in this together and with each other and so we just wanted to share something from our home to each of yours. Then, pointing to a 15-month-old girl called Asaiville, who was rolling around on the floor in front of the group, the Duchess laughed, look at who's having the best time, living her best life. Outside the Mothers to Mothers charity, Megan chatted to young Fanna Marin 
who told the Duchess she wants to be a pediatrician when she grows up. Amara, 9, told reporters, she asked me how old I am, I answered, and she asked me what I wanted to do one day, and she asked me my name. I said, I want to be a pediatrician. She said you can be anything you want. I cried, because I have never met such an amazing person like her, it was amazing to see. Megan also seemed smitten by six-week-old Sumia, who was asleep on her mother, Nada Bukago, 31. Told she had watched the royal wedding on TV, the Duchess replied, Oh thank you, that's so sweet. And she giggled when Nadabo suggested that little Sumi might one day marry Archie. I was so excited, I can't believe it even now, said the mother of two from Cape Town's Calafshaw Township. It's like a dream to see her, especially because I watched her wedding on TV. I told her that maybe Archie and Sumi are a match made in heaven. I was disappointed that she didn't bring him too. Megan was visiting Mother's to Mother's International Headquarters in Cape Town to hear how the charity is training and employing women living with HIV as health workers in their communities across eight African nations. The peer support model helps prevent mother-to-baby transmission of the virus through these mother mentors, who become role models in their communities, showing how women with HIV can live healthy, productive lives. Since its launch in 2001, M2M has created more than 10,000 jobs and reached more than 11 million women and children under the age of 2. Megan was welcomed to the center by Frank Beetle de Palomo, president and CEO of Mothers to Mothers and two of its spokeswomen, Limfontko, 29, from Lesotho, and Nabuntu Mao, 32, from Kalachaw. Inside, she sat in a circle of chairs with M2M staff and clients who had brought their young children to the session. But the Duchess quickly suggested they move to the floor, where a selection of playthings were laid out for the youngsters. We can all sit down here, I just think if it was Archie and we had all these toys in the middle but I made him sit in the chair it would be so unfair. When her hosts hesitated, she urged them on, laughing, I can't be the only one sitting down here. Megan sat cross-legged on the carpet and held out a finger to one baby girl next to her as Limfo shared her story. Hearing that she had a daughter aged five months, almost the same age as baby Archie, Megan gasped, oh my goodness. Limfo said she was 19, pregnant and married to a man seven years older than her when she was diagnosed with HIV. Did you feel scared? asked the Duchess. Scared, ashamed and it was just terrifying, she replied. One of those moments when you just want to disappear. With the support of Mother's Two Mothers, Limpho said she realized she could continue to live a healthy life and she managed to deliver an HIV-free baby. Tragically, she told the royal visitor, her baby died three weeks later. I'm so sorry, Megan replied, looking visibly moved. Limpho has since given birth to two healthy children. She became a mother mentor herself and is helping to train others. When she explained how they move around the community with door-to-door -door visits Megan replied, That's so important and I think that so much of the key work that's being done is you have your own community. Mother mentors, someone who looks like you. It's a safe place for you to have that conversation with someone you trust. Because we can do whatever we want from the outside looking in. But when you have a role model with a shared experience it creates a much faster connection and it's great that you're able to do that. Crowds of well-wishers sung to their African queen as the Duchess of Sussex left her second engagement of the day today. Around 50 women sung African queen, there's a new tomorrow, African queen, a dream we can follow, as Meghan left the Woodstock exchange. The Duke and Duchess shared images from the talk on their Instagram account along with the caption, Verified Ladies Who Launch. This afternoon in the Woodstock district of Cape Town, the Duchess of Sussex joined inspiring female entrepreneurs who shared their passion for ideas, technology and making a positive social impact. Each of the women shared amazing stories of how they started in business, the journey they've been on, successes and struggles, but also their ambitions for the future. Female empowerment and championing women's rights is a key focus for the Duchess. By taking small actions we can make a big difference. Thank you to the inspiring women the Duchess met today. 
who are setting this example every day through their dedication and determination. Writing on the Sussex Royal Instagram account this afternoon, Meghan and Harry said in a statement, This afternoon in South Africa, the Duchess has continued to meet incredible women from Cape Town. Mothers to Mothers does amazing work to train and employ women living with HIV as frontline health workers. All of the women the Duchess met today are from Khalid Shah and the role they play as mentor mothers is a lifeline to families in their community. Before departing, HRH donated two large bags of loved but outgrown clothes from Archie and her friend's children. It's so important we're be able to share what's worked for our family and know that you're all in this together with each other. So we wanted to share something from our home to each of yours, she said. In March 2019, the Duchess of Sussex joined a panel discussion convened by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust to mark International Women's Day, featuring female business and charity leaders. The panelists discussed the obstacles that still affect female empowerment across the world today, and the positive opportunities that come when women are given wider access. Harry and Meghan are on a 10-day visit to Africa with their four-month-old son Archie and later the Duke will leave his family to travel to Botswana. He will also visit Angola and Malawi over the coming days before he is reunited next week with his wife and child in Johannesburg.